Hello, this is your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn. And we have a box opening video. And I did not have to pee. Hold on, let me get the knife. And I can open this box that way. Hope everyone is having a nice day today. Nancy over there hold for a moment. And I hope everything is okay in the box because as you can see, it can bust it like that. It also came with this hair open. This was open. So, but really since this side more of anything, this is the bottom, but I, I'm going to just open it from this side because technically... Half of the top is already off of this here. And yeah, let's see if I like it. And I don't know if it was packaged like this by the, the artist, because she sent it back in the box that I sent it to her in. And, but I didn't send it packaged like this here. Now these things that I'm about to take out the box, you know what? And everything looked like that. And I'm a child. Let y'all know. I sent these things with the uh, to the artist because I didn't know what size the baby wore. So I sent three different outfits for her to choose from to send them back home. And this was one of them. Because I didn't know she was a three month because I've seen Erica put hers in three month size clothes. And some people, I've seen some people use two month size clothes. And y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I said, lovies, headbands, socks, shoes, outfits for every outfit that I seen. That was one of them. Let me show y'all. The other options that this baby had, even though I know y'all want to hurry to get to the baby, but I had also sent um, the undershirt, and then I sent this little um, and this one, these little UK outfits. I sent that with the least socks. And I sent two shoes she could have choose from the pink one. Or uh, well actually with this outfit I actually sent three pairs of shoes. <laughs> Y'all know I do the most. I sent these sparkly white ones with the bow on the back. And then I sent these sparkly white with pink ones. Because the outfit is white and pink but like off white and pink and then i sent this little unicorn lovey if she had sent that outfit for her to come with this lovey and then if she wanted to put the hair in latches i had these two latches and if she didn't want to do a latch and wanted to do a hairband she had choice of hairbands but each thing accessories and all was wrapped up and sent to the to the artist which I don't know if other people seen clothes when they seen their baby or not then I also sent her this little lovey and then see she got the little latch on <laughs> I put on her both yeah both to match her little dress and her name is Sparkles. Oh, let me see, press. Well, I don't even hear this. They say something about a sparkle sound, but let's see, I'm dead. But anyway, that was one of the lobbies as well. It's just me doing the most. And then I sent that pacifier with the lobby attached to it. Oh yeah, I sent pacifiers and all to match the outfits. Cause I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't sure. 
Now, I think she, I don't know if I sent a bottle or did she send me this bottle? I can't remember. I think she might have sent me this bottle here. Let's open this up. That is pretty dope. Because I don't think I sent a bottle. I don't recall sending a bottle. And we're going to get to the baby in just a sec. And for those who don't want to weep, sand, sand, you can fast forward to the baby. <laughs> you know, it's like, Earl, I am fast forward to the baby. You go look at this channel. That's her bottle. And the bottle really do match the lovey perfect. Look at the lovey dress in the bottle. Same colors. Really cute. Okay. This is how she saved the baby. That's the head. Yep. Okay. Can y'all see it? I kind of just get all the bubble wrap off first. Which is the front, which is the back, because she don't have the head covered. That's the head. And this is the baby here. Y'all know me. I, I just like to rip off the bandage. No, nope, she don't have the hair covered. But hold on, because I want to fluff the hair up a little bit. Y'all breathe with me just one second. I'm going to pull her out of frame for one second because I want her to look nice and cute for everybody when she come on. So I'm going to pause you guys once. Okay, you guys. Let me see if I can zoom in on her a little better. I'm going to bring her up a little closer. Let me move the lobbies and things towards the back so you guys can see her. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> That's the alarms going off on the clock. And isn't this gown absolutely beautiful when she came in? And y'all, here's your new niece. This she still got her little travel here. But this is my Ashby. By Claire Taylor Dolls. And y'all know that I also, like I said, I'm a, I love this um, muslin blanket. I'm gonna put this, um, lay this out on top. Well, I need all that. That's just too much. Let me see if I can zoom out just a tad bit. Now y'all can see her. Yep. There you go. Let me take her mitts off. So you guys can see her little hands and we will do a details video later and let me show y'all her little legs and feet and I'm gonna keep her in this for a little bit uh, this is the lining of the the gown and this is her little legs and I sent the cream socks and the shoes <laughs> and I can take let me take the little shoe off. These are cream little lace shoes with the uh, chiffon bow. Now I do have to. Where's that nice? Let me get this little thing off because I don't want this to. Oh, she had had it cut. Stick in her silicone. That's the little thing we had the tag on for her socks. But she got the ruffle socks to match the ruffles in her flowers. The ruffle in her hair band. Her hair is um, rooted in a blonde and a sandy brown curly mohair. Hold up, let me take this off. She 
got a head full of curly blonde and sandy hair. Besides me brushing a little bit of BB hair around, all I did is spray her hair and just fluff it with my hand, actually. But also, another feature that then came with this doll um she has armatures so yep she has armatures so she can hold on to her little lovey now how cute is that how stinking cute is that or if she want to put her lovey on this side she can hold on to her little bottle and thing her pictures there you go so um and because these dolls have thinner hands i mean thinner arms because she you know she's a newborn i did get her uh, um oh, i mean her little arms so tiny her arms tinier than reva's but i also had got her this little um so let me take the tag off this. This little um, gift basket thing here. And it has another unicorn, the unicorn rattle in the blanket. That's hers. As well as um, another pack of pacifiers. But it's a baby little um, caddy. And it's... um. It's a diaper caddy, and it includes a blanket, the diaper caddy, which is this paint thing with the handles. And you can put a little comb and brush and baby wipes and a couple of diapers stacked in there. And you come with the animal plush, the rattle teether, the diaper caddy, and then includes a blanket. The blanket is 30 by 36. The diaper caddy is 10 by 6 by 6. Um, a rattle teether, which is 5 by 6, and a rattle plush, 5 by 10. Hold on one second. But yeah, this is the new BB. And like I say, this is the little caddy that I got her with her unicorn caddy. And I just stick the pacifiers in the little pocket. And I'm sticking that back there. With her other unicorn lovey. And let me see if that'll stay. No, oh, just try put acting up on me. Doing my box opening. Hold on one second, you guys. And one more thing that I did get for her. We totally forgot about that pacifier. But I also got this one here with the rainbow and these here. And I got this here from Ross. And Ross had these for $4.99. So I got her this. But I know how I am with unicorns. So I need to double check because if I got two of these, then I can get one to her cousin in the Christmas box. But I, I got to double check and make sure because I'm not sure. But I've been dancing with for her for a little bit. And the good thing I like about her, because her and Reva can wear the same size. Because uh, she is newborn. I love the way her fingers were painted. But I'm going to tell y'all, I, I ain't going to tell y'all I'm not scared of these fingers. Because these are the thinnest fingers. I think her fingers are even thinner than um, Reva fingers. And let me look at his toes. Well, you know what? We ain't got to do all that because I'll come back when I undress her for the first time. But like I say, she'll be in this for a while. I don't know. I might. I'm not sure if I'm going to dress her for Easter or I'm going to keep her in this for Easter. I'm not sure. But uh, we shall see. Oh, and she also has a belly plate too. I just happen to feel a oh, little shoe falling off his little leg. 
Let's look at her belly plate real quick. Oh, a little feet and legs so narrow. She's got the narrowest little leg. Look at little belly plate, y'all. Oh, look at little belly button. That is so, oh man. That is so cool and cute. But when we get to her details video, we will, um, and I'll do that when I undress her and we'll look at all her details up close and personal. And I want to, um, and how I, I sitting here so talking about the baby. Let me tell y'all what Scout Tip is for those who might be new to my channel. And this is most stuff, once again, that I sent. Once again, doing the most. <laughs> Come on, like I said, I didn't know. I sent Pampers. I sent another. Um, I really been doing the most. when I Because I didn't know if she was going to dress the baby and send her. Or did I have to send the things. But y'all know I'm kind of particular about certain things and dressing style. And I sent this pacifier. Cause I think it had the roses on it. Let's see how this look in her mug. Oh, I not, I didn't even bring the gel or nothing. But, oh no, I can't put it. I can't get in there without some gel on it. Cause that nipple there. I know it can fit because I tried it on her before in the blind kit before I sent it. So that was. That was another thing that I had sent with her. And this doll is the Clear Taylor Ashby. And I will come back with a name review. And I'm trying to get her COE out the thing. This is her scalp right here. This is her COA. She's the Ashby by Claire Taylor. And if you look in the bar one, these, these scalps are still available in this ClaireTaylorDolls.com. And she's the Ashby Silicon Kit Handcrafted by Doll. Handcraft, hand sculpted. Lord, get with it, Earl. Get with it. Hand sculpted by doll artist Claire Taylor. Production limited edition to the life of the mold. She's the Ashby in the platinum silicone doll kit. Was reproduced in Echo Fx 20 by Claire Taylor Dolls. ClaireTaylorDolls.com. That is the COA for this baby. Now, um, Claire offers this doll, and um, it's the Ashby, she's the weak scout, and Alex is the asleep scout. And to be honest with you, now seeing her all put together. Cause I when I saw Miss Ruth one, I kid you not, when Ruth showed that kit, and Mom saw that kit, cause you know I like to sleep babies, but I knew I had Reva asleep. I always wanted a partial silicone in my collection, and when she became available, I'm like, oh, she's a partial kit, and she come with the belly plate, and they had the open ass sleep one. So then I was all for the sleep one. But then when me and mom saw Miss Ruth one, Steven, I, I fell in love with Steven when Ruth at first um, showed Steven after she painted him. I fell in love with the open eye. I was all on sleep. It was just majority of people have the sleep. If you go in the Claire Dale, Taylor silicone groups on um. Facebook, you see plenty of sleep ones, but you don't see that many, the open eye ones. But, um, I wanted the open eye one, and I sent a clear, a picture of my Aunt Francine, who, um, had passed away a couple of years ago when, during the time of the, um, 
the International Doll Show time. That's why I had to cancel my time from coming out there because we had death in the family. But during that time, Aunt Francine died, and I, I oh, she was our um, oldest living aunt, and I sent her a picture of Aunt Francine. And when I see this open eye kid, she put me in mind of her, and I'll show y'all at the end of this um, video um, a picture of Aunt Francine as well as. Um, a picture of the skull prior to get painted and then pictures of her after being painted. But I had Claire because everybody always talk about um we always say my dad had um bluish looking eyes. Um and Francine always had gray blue looking eyes. And we always um talk about dad got eyes like Francine. But I wanted her to have those eyes, so I um, asked if I can pay additional to get that particular eye. And that's how come this one have different eyes from any of the other ones. That's why. Those were a special uh, custom eye that I begged <laughs> needed and paid extra for. So that's where the eye color and thing came from and because I always keep my hair um, blowing and mama on Francine her girls, as well as my sister and my granny always had a plaid of my daddy one, and it was like a sandy brown. Um, and my, like I tell y'all, one of my sisters is a reddish, redhead, but I wanted her here done in the sandy brown and some blonde and the twine. And, and that's the color of her hair is Rudy. Now, she was molded, sculpted, and poured by Claire Taylor Dolls. She was painted, and somebody is going to laugh when they hear this, when they see this video and hear this video, because when I joined the group, I and they asked, do you have a doll by shells? And I said, she's working on one, but they didn't understand what I was talking about. They thought, oh, Earl must be confused and they didn't understand the question because she's the admin for the group. But the whole time, I actually must, let me tell y'all the story, but the, I actually, when I paid on the kit is by clear, when I contacted Shell, Rachel, 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 Rachel Farrell, a Shell's nursery, she the one painted and rooted this baby for me. And she had this baby, and I um, actually, when I paid off, when I went to go pay her, when I went, actually went to go pay it off the scalp, to pay Claire through uh, PayPal, all I saw was the C and I clicked pay off. I met, cause I already paid a deposit to have her done. I wasn't going to pay off having her painted and rooted for me prior to me getting the doll. I was, I would have paid it off with time for her to get ready to take the doll. Then I'll pay it off because, you know, with PayPal, your money is only protected six months. But I made the mistake and I paid Shell off instead of paying Claire off for the kit. And so then when I realized the mistake I made, I called PayPal and, and asked them, could, they, could I get the money back? I must have paid off the wrong uh, vendor. I was supposed to have been paying Claire Taylor dolls instead of Shell. All I saw was the, both of the, um, oh Lord, both of my slips was down with a, the C in the beginning, Shells and Claire. I just see the C and had, you know, the wrong one. So I paid off to have the doll painted before I even paid off to get the doll. And now they say, well, you got to contact the person for them to refund you back the money. Well, I didn't feel right contacting her, asking her for my money back when it was my mistake that I made. 
So technically, she was paid way before, way in advance before I even paid the kid off. She was already paid to to do the doll for me. And so then now that I had to save back again to hurry up and pay the kid off because now I was right supposed to be right behind bullying. This doll was supposed to be down in January. Started in January last year. So that's um this the back, little bit of the backstory behind that doll. I miss and pay it off. The artist to do the work for me be prior to me paying off to get the doll in my um hand. But I think um oh that oh goodness, what did I touch? She came out really nice though. I do like her. I love her. And then she did the little curls a little longer in the back. And I didn't even know this doll even had a piece of neck. And see, that's what, um, oh, I never knew she had a neck come down from her head. She was saying that with the Ken um, Bohemian doll level was saying with the Kennedy sculpt, she wished she had more neck versus, um, you know, just the head sitting on the body. So with that being said, sculptors who are sculpting silicone dolls, and if you by any chance look at this video or any new sculptors might be looking at this video, take that in consideration. I never even thought about that. Um, and I didn't even know that this kid had a neck because I'm used to the head. But she does have a neck come down, a silicone, then you go to the body. Now that is absolutely neat. I, I didn't I never knew that. Never knew. Wait a minute, what color pant um diaper she got on? Because they didn't use the one she I think she got a white, the plain white diaper. I think the flousy one, but she got a plain white one on. Yeah, she got a white pamper diaper. But she came out really nice and like I say, her little fingers. They, the way she painted them and everything, they look so newbornish. So, so newborn looking. Oh, God. I, I really like the way she turned out. I was scared. And she got a tongue and everything. She got gums. Oh, and she got a uvula in the back of her mouth. Throw it. And I do need to get her some little earrings and pierce her. I, and I really meant to ask her to pierce the ears before he come to me. But mama's home now. I can get mom to pierce her ears because I hate, hate, hate piercing silicone doll ears. Because when that skin scratch in the back, it looks like real skin. It just like it taking my nerve. Like I can literally feel the pain myself. <laughs> so I do not, um, <laughs> Nancy had to laugh. I don't think. What do you think of this one, Nancy? And this is the first time I did a box opening over here at Nancy House. Nancy over there holding her boy. So what do you think of this one here, Nancy? You like her? It's a pretty one. Yeah, she is beautiful. So with that being said, Rachel Pharrell, I would like to thank you so much. And that's Rachel um, from Shell's Nursery. I think she changed her nursery name. But I'm just going by the old one because that's the one I know. And hold up, it is another ball came in here. Okay, and this is um Shell's baby right here. That's the name of her nursery, Shell's Babies. And it's Shell's Baby at Hotmail.com. And Shell's Babies. Oh gosh. Nursery.com. She is the painter of this doll. And this is actually this box and thing here. This for my um she had Ashby Nam on there. And this is your silicone care kit. And you get the um brush. And calm. Now that is so cute. And the little water bottle for her hair. 
Isn't that cute? And each piece has her um her nursery name monogram on it. That is really neat. And this is the um, dusting brush and then the um, matte powder for her. And like I say, this is her business card. Is this the business card? Yeah. This is her artist information right here. So, if you are interested in, uh, I don't know if she's still doing any customs or if she's just doing her dolls right now. Because she did, um, since her mom passed, she did got overwhelmed with orders. But, um, you can contact her and see what she's doing, what she have available. And she is the same artist that sculpted and molded Eloxy. And if y'all like my Eloxy, um, Kenley sculpt. And you're looking for, um, <clears throat> for one, um, she don't have any more of the open eye, but she does have this sleep version of that kit. She still has some of those kits still available. So if y'all are interested in getting one of those, like the Aloxy, um, but in the sleep version, she do have some kits available for those. And I think they start at $700. Um, and I guess it all depends on if you get any other features or whatever added to it. This particular kit is still available. If you like, want to get this kit, you can get her at, um, ClaireTaylorDolls.com. This kit is still available. They both are partial kits. Um, they sold as blind kits, and like I say, I don't know if she is still taking on any customs or not, but you can ask. I love, 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 love this gown on her. Y'all, when I tell you, um, like I say, a lot of my newborn are uh, preemie sized babies. I think I'm going to keep them, like, in gowns and stuff. I'm not going to be dressing them up as much as I dress the three months and up size babies. But I love beautiful gowns on newborns. And that's why I, um, sent this here. But anyway, this is your girl Earl from Embracing Reborn. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this box opening. It was a beautiful one. Um, I waited for this baby a long time, but it was well worth, she was well worth the wait. And now she can go do some 20, maybe with her twin cousin, Ocean. Tell Ocean, get, wait a minute, you got to blow Ocean kiss. Say, mm, hey, cuz. Tell Bohemian doll love a little Ocean. You say hi. Say, hey, Titi. You gotta love it. But, um, I told mom, because mom said, Will you, you hang it? Because I picked the doll up this morning at the um, post office on my way um, into work. And she was like, Y'all, you ain't posted the video yet? I, so I got hired to post this. <laughs> she wants this video posted. But I told her, I'm a, I got another video I gotta post prior to this video. So, y'all will be seeing this a day later. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope y'all enjoyed the few pieces of things that I did have for her. And like I said, I just didn't know what size she was. So I said some in three months, some zero to three. I said in three months, a zero to three in the newborn. <laughs> just so I can uh, get an idea. I, like I said, I didn't know what size she would look good in once her body get on. Because it all depends on how, too, how big these, um, how stuffed the artist put the, um, the dolls. So, what, and see, there's another way to keep up with the little mitts. See there? Boom. Get a caddy. Gotta love it. But, um, oh, look at little bottle. That is just so stinking cute. But anyway... I'm going to bring her to the end and hold her a little bit. Let me see how she, well, the bottom part, like I said, I don't even have nothing. Well, this goes in the mouth pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
aqui é o Mama Gunther Ski. You probably look ugly. You ain't got no filler, nothing. And they don't want to mess up your lips without any protection on that nipple. Yep, we don't want to mess up them pretty lips. So, um, Ruth and Steven, if y'all looking at this video, hey, cuz, hey, TT, Miss Ruth and Ocean, I mean, Miss Bohemian Doll Lover and Ocean, hey, TTs. And the whole time, listen, when I tell y'all the whole time I'm waiting on this baby, I'm begging Bohemian Doll Lover, uh, Ruth, could y'all do a video with y'all? Why can y'all do a video with yours? And, and I just wanted to see their baby the same time. Because I didn't know when I ordered this one, Billy, Miss Billy said she was going to order this one, but she wanted a bigger doll, so she ordered the one, which is the Kelly, the one, the Loxy that I have now. But I told her I always wanted a Rochelle baby. And I didn't know she had an open eye one out then. But I had already peed on this one, so I like I can't do both. But Lord fix it, I ended up with both of them anyway. But um I really do like her. I do like her. So I mean I really, really do like her. But I, you know, like I said, I got armatures put in her arms. But now, had she the police there, she was off because I can't keep them for this one fall off. But like Reva got the straight legs. I wish Reva had leg armatures where you could squeeze the legs up or you could straighten them out like Canella. But her her legs is already sculpted in that little squatted position. So that's good. But sometimes I wish Reva Wine could get in a low squat like that. But anyway, I can't keep rambling on. But I just get, I swear her eyes look like they looking into your soul all day. I love the eyes on this baby. And she, and she got eyelash, her eyelash is the same color as her hair. But because her hair is a lighter color, you can't hardly see it. And the pillow that I got her laying on, her hair is literally blending in with the pillow. But she do have a head full of beautiful, hold up, where's the uh, water? Let me show y'all. She got a head full of curly hair. And I just brush with the bristles, and then I had. And see, only thing with with the lighter hair colors where you wet them, <laughs> it blends right into the skin, so you can't really see them until they really dry. Oh my goodness! Get your little baby hairs around you. You know me a bully with our baby hairs. We love our little baby hairs. But she do have a nice hair full of beautiful hair. Because um, the first hair that she, she started her with was darker than I originally wanted. I said, but no, I wanted her hair a little bit lighter than that. But um, I love, 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 love this hair color on her. I really do love the hair. Matter of fact, I may have to ask her to vend it for this hair. Cause I would mind having some more of this here for myself to put on some rebounds. That's all right. But anyway, we're gonna bring this doll to end. Like I say, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This your girl Earl. You wanna look at your titties and uncles and your cousins so you can see your pretty face. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>